Hey, thank you for joining me once again at our channel, Val Eurosport. Today, I welcome you with joy. I have yet another edition here that you are really going to like. Buonasera, mes amici. Bonsoir, mes amis. Un guten Abend, meine liebe Freundin. This is a beautiful 2006 Aston Martin DB9 in the meteorite silver exterior over black interior. Notice everything is black here, including the piano black, which makes a really nice contrast. Makes a nice ambiance. I love black interiors. This particular car comes with a windbreaker as well, which comes in handy. Uh, if you have your sweetheart there with that long, beautiful, undulating hair, you won't have to worry about getting messy on a top-down drive around town with this Stano right here. 06 DB9 with 19-inch... Bridgestone Potenza wheels, red calipers, and um, only 48,000 miles, well-maintained miles. You see this car on the road, you would think it had 10,000 miles. Let's crack this baby up and see what she can say about uh, what, if she can tell us a story. So, oh, with these older Jaguar, uh, I'm sorry, not Jaguar, Aston Martin DB9s, notice they still have a key with a push button start. The newer ones have a key slot right about here. So, with this one here, the way you start it is you put the key in here, turn it all the way. Notice all the lights turn on in the dash, but nothing happens. Well, don't panic, you're missing one thing, and that is the push button start. So, hold the button down, and there she is starting. So, let's get this party started. This D for drive, and away we go. What a beautiful day to come out in a top-down car. Memorial Day weekend, slightly cloudy, on a cool evening, perfect time. You don't want to do this when it's uh, hot and steamy outside. Notice you can hear me much better now for a couple of different reasons. One is we have this windbreaker behind us. Second, I got myself a nice Lavalier microphone head. I think you can tell the difference, right? All right. Let's uh, push this pause here. Check out how beautiful North Carolina is. All woodsy. Beautiful. All right, let's close the top here just in case it starts raining. This is a simple one button operation. All you gotta do is hold this button down and then it does it all on its own. And if you hold it long enough, it rolls up the windows too. Much more quiet now. Dry button again. Let's get some air because it's staying stuffy here. And let me show you around my hometown here. We are at Lake Jordan. 
This is a national park, I believe. It's a great place to come in uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, especially if you have a boat. There's a boat launch right here that happens to be closed right on this day. Ebenezer Church, both wild. This is what I've done lots of videos for those of you guys who watch this on uh, YouTube. Done lots of drone video right here. That was a beautiful part of my life that I miss. Brings back memories. I'm not going to shed a tear though. And look at this puppy here. 45813 miles. V12. Six liter engine. What does that mean on a V12 engine? It was barely broken in. Look at these pine trees here, it's beautiful. Gives you a good, good road feel, Scar. It's a little noisy because the road is a little, uh, it's ungraded, it's not exactly smooth asphalt. It's not smooth tarmac. All right, let's see if we can do a U-turn here somewhere. Look at the, we are in D, six speed, 50 miles an hour, and we are doing, what, not even 1500 RPM, not even, at 60, uh, 50 miles an hour. This is a low RPM engine. Look how, uh, Nice, it looks interior. I love this uh, black piano wood. Along with the black leather, it just looks sharp. That's about all I have to say. Thank you for watching, guys. This is a clean, nice Aston Martin DB9. You will not be disappointed. If you bought this car. Hope you see you next time. Bye. Just to illustrate, it's a lot more quiet here because we have smooth tarmac. Notice back there it was uh, on graded road. Notice how quiet this thing is. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a uh, head start. Let's put uh, let's put this in sport. Let's see what happens. Sport. Taking off. Woo! So smooth. You didn't even feel it changing gears. Wow. Now battle shifter. You can downshift. This is fourth, three, notice that. Now with the DB9s, it stays in that gear once you downshift. You notice it doesn't go up, it stays in third gear. It's not like the Maserati where it defaults back into drive. It tops off in that gear. So if I want to go past it, I can either upshift with that paddle or I can put it back into D, into drive mode. And that concludes our little demo for today. Thank you for watching and you can thank me for yet another trick you found in my bag of tricks. Aston Martin bag of tricks that is. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.